In this Photoshop design tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do a simple ink logo in Photoshop. So, hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do a simple ink design in Photoshop. Now a lot of you guys asked me to start sitting in front of the camera, you guys requested it. So here I am with my Rita Pro setup, just with the same as I do with my main channel, the Rita Pro, where we do photography and Photoshop tutorials. Yeah, so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do a simple ink logo in Photoshop. First of all, we're gonna work on the background. Now the background we've created ourselves this week, or actually last week already, and bundled everything up for you as a texture package on our website at retailpro.com. We've also opened a few coupons for you for five bucks to get 200 shots of the textures. So if you wanna get it, check down below in the description is a coupon for you to get it right now. The coupon is only open for a few days, so head there right now. Yeah, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let's get right away into it. Okay, so let's get right away into the design. As you guys can see on the right hand side here in the layers palette, I have again the text already and underneath we have the background. Now, let's open this as well. So it's very simple. You guys simply get the files from our website. Once you have the files downloaded, I've just integrated it into Photoshop. If you're completely new to this, please have a look on the channel are more tutorials teaching you how to start with canvases and integrate background designs and stuff like that. Okay, so once you have the design, simply add it and underneath I also have a little bit of a white background layer here just in order so I can actually take this layer and take the opacity all the way down so it's just lightened up in the background a little bit or if you want to have it a bit more contrast like now I take it up to opacity 100%. Now, I've played also a little bit again on top of that. I've added a bit of some curves over here. Let's me back go back to adjustments here so we can actually see the adjustments from the curve over here. And as well, I've added a bit of hue and saturation. Now, I want to do these two processes again so you guys can actually see this is the background layer that we've got from the website. And then on top of that, I went to adjustments. First of all, a curves adjustment layer over here. And then I just put an anchor point over here and you can now obviously give this a bit more contrast if you want or as well push the blacks up a little bit so they just defade a little bit on this. Again, I'm going to push that down so you guys can see the effect. So they're fading up a little bit. I like the contrast on this but I'm still going to push this one up a bit so I just have a bit more highlights here. Okay, something like that as you guys can see. Okay, let's push this up a bit more. Maybe we can tweak this bit down. Okay, so we have a bit of an effect here. Then on top of that, what I'm going to do is just delete the hue and saturation everything. I'm going to create another adjustment layer. So let's go back to adjustments again. We're going to go to hue and saturation. And this time with the masters, I'm first of all going to push the saturations in order to get a really deep color here from the saturation. Okay, I'm not too happy with the purple and the blue. So let me also push the hue over here a little bit to the side, something in this way, a little bit of a uh, pink color going there. I think that will look not too bad actually. Okay, then we got that, great. Then again, what I'm gonna do on top of that, I'm gonna place the new ink text. Okay, so let's leave this group out of our way. First of all, I'm gonna go to the text tool, again on the left hand side here in the text palette, layers. I'm gonna make a big selection and just write ink in one capital letters and big letters again. Okay, select all of it. We first of all have to select the font. Now again, you guys can also find the font down below in the description. I've added everything for you. I'm going to go with the first font, which will be Master, Master of Break. That's going to be our font. Okay, I'm going to select it and also make this a bit bigger because it's so small. So maybe something around 100, let's see, 93, yeah, 93, actually that's good, 93. But the tracking is still way off. So what I'm going to do is just take the tracking all the way down to zero, and I'm happy with that. Okay, so under the character box here, you can switch the tracking. If you don't have this character box, simply go to Window and select Character Box over here. There you go, just tick that and you should have it. Okay, I'm going to accept that. And with the normal move tool, just going to move it here into the center. I'm quickly going to go to view, new guides, and say hori horizontally there, 50%. And as well, view again, 
new guides like I always do vertical 50% again. Now if you're completely new to all of this please have a look on the channel. I've created a ton of tutorials teaching you how to get into this, how to work with these layers and how to work with the guidelines and also the canvases. So don't be mad at me if you don't understand this. Please go to the channel and have a look at those videos. Okay so we've got ink over here. I'm happy with the center point and now what I want to do is basically go to the elliptical marking tool and just create like a little round circle here in order to have like a dot at the end. So that's ink dot. I think it just suits the design a bit better. I'm also going to do this on a new layer. So again, I'm going to select the new layer over here. We can write dot if you guys like to. It's easier if you just rename stuff. Marking tool again. And now inside of the selection, hit right click and say fill color yes also select color over here and I'm going to select the same color as the font color okay select it and okay okay and we have finally command D get out of the selection again Windows people please press control when I say command so command D to get out of the selection and you guys can see now we have that little dot over here now as well I didn't talk about too, uh, too much about the font here so I'm going to select the font again. While you work on the font, Master of Break is the font name. You guys can find it in the description down below. The size and over here under the color picker, you can also choose a color. So I went something with a very dark yeah, uh, purple value here. So you guys can also find my numbers down here in order to copy it exactly like I have. Okay, and accept. So there you guys go. Great. Now I'm still going to make another selection and write here exclusive. So again, you guys can see it because it's way too big. I have to take down the font size. Okay, exclusive. There we go. And first of all, I'm going to change the font on that again. So that will be Helvetica Neue. There we go. Let's select that. And I think I'm also going to write it in capital letters. It will just suit it a bit better, the logo exclusive there we go and I'm going to deselect all of that there we go exclusive now I'm going to take the font size down to 10 or 9 to have it really small and a little word that stands out at the bottom I'm also going to go back to the character box here on the right hand side and take the tracking up to like 500 600 let's have a look yeah 500 should be good move tool again and I'm literally going to move it into here Great, so I think I'm actually going to make it a bit bigger. Let's take the text tool again. I'm going to select it, all of it, and I'm going to just make this a bit more bigger, exclusive 560, and also change the thickness of the font to bold, so it just stands out a bit. Okay, great. Move that into the center here, also with my cursors left and right, and that's basically it. I'm going to zoom out again, go to view, clear the guides, so I can actually see what I'm doing here. And what I normally do is zoom out a little bit right on the screen just to see how it feels and if it feels balanced or if the image leans a little bit to the left or right. And yeah, that's basically it actually. Okay, cool. So don't forget again, last step, I'm going to take ink, exclusive and dot, press command G, put that together in a group again and write text and also the background. Obviously that was our first, I'm just going to move that down. Background, background layer and text in another group and write design. So great. It's a super simple, quick design. Anyone can do this. And yeah, if you want something like this for your YouTube, here you go, a tutorial how to create this. Yeah, so that's basically it for the tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit us up there with a thumbs up. Share this with all your buddies who are new to Photoshop. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. But also, if you want these 200 textures, go to our main website, retailpro.com. It's also down below in the description. Description. Again, you can get a coupon for five bucks to get that whole package right now. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys. If you want to see some more tutorials, check out here left and right everywhere. Some tutorials for you and on the main channel as well. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial.